All right, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be trying to fix an issue with my the stereo system in my Super Duty truck. This video kind of applies to a lot of different uh, Chinese Android radios. So I'll show you the problem we're having here. All right, so my problem is I've lost all my backlighting for all these buttons on the side and all these buttons have stopped working. So none of these buttons work anymore at all. Uh, before the button stopped working, I lost the backlighting. Uh, sometimes you could kind of tap on this and it would make this stuff start working again. So I'm gonna show you what the problem is and how to fix it. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get the stereo out. So depending on what kind of car you're working in, you need to understand how to take the dash part board apart a little bit to get the radio out in my F-250. Just need to remove a couple plates here. There's a couple of screws. And I'm actually gonna not completely remove the radio. I'm just going to bring it out with the wiring to where I can work on it. All right, so I've got the stereo pulled out here. I guess I'm gonna leave it connected. To get in the top of this one, uh, we've got a little Phillips head screw here and the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna pop these out real quick so I can remove the top. All right, so here's what we see. Uh, what we're looking for is the board that allows the front of the head unit uh, to interface with the main board. So I'm gonna have to do a little more disassembly. I'm gonna have to remove the front here. So there's some screws on the bottom, a couple on the bottom, and there's one right here and one right here. And that'll allow this front piece to come down and should give us access to the circuit board. Okay, so you can see the front comes off pretty easily. All right, I'll show you what the problem is. So you can see right here, we have uh, solder points right here. You can see this whole board is supposed to be soldered to that board. So what happens is, is you know, as you go down the road and you hit bumps, it's constantly stressing these solder joints right here. And the only thing that's holding this board to that board on this side is these soldered connections. So you can see every single one of them is broken. And that is our problem. So basically all we need to do is take a soldering iron and kind of reheat these joints and try to get them soldered back in place and I'm not the best at soldering so I'm gonna have to be really careful you don't want to join any of them together so what I'm trying to do is heat it up and kind of use the solder that's there to reconnect this and then I'm gonna to want to take some kind of tape and see if I can't uh, kind of secure this to that after we're done um, just to kind of help prevent this from happening again. It has been a few years, but it is slowly, all these connections have broken. You see, we got the same thing on the other side. Uh, all those are good though, still. It's just this one side that's come apart. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of solder on the tip. getting it slowly so far the key seems to be to just kind of keep putting solder on the tip of the gun I'm just looking to see if there's any that look like they're a little thin and that side looks pretty good this side over here yeah that side no issues. All right, so what I'm gonna do, let me go ahead and put the safety cover on. Set this in place for a minute. Since 
we're all plugged in. I'm just gonna turn this on and see if we fixed our problem. And that's a good sign. That button works. That button works. That button works. So everything works. So we fixed the problem. Let me just turn on the lights. And we have backlighting also. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to reinforce this board a little bit. I'm going to reinforce this board a little bit, uh, a little bit of tape, just to try to help, you know, brace those solder joints. But that's all there is to it. That really is it. Um, you know, the key is to have a good hot soldering iron. So in my case, I'm using a uh, butane powered torch. Works a lot better than an electric soldering iron for something like this. You want really hot, uh, fine tip, and it worked pretty good. You can see it's not the prettiest thing ever, but I'm not very good at this. But it worked. So if you are having similar issues on your Android stereo, um, these are made in China pretty cheaply, uh, even though they work good. Um, little things like this can come up where most people would probably throw this in the trash. It was that easy to fix it. it took me about five minutes, as you saw. So if that was helpful, if it was, be sure to like the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And until next time, we'll see you later.